hello welcome to another video in TIE portal series today we will learn about the OB100 interrupt uh, what is OB100 interrupt in TIE portal or Siemens VLC it actually uh, used or in a execute whenever your PLC cold restarted okay uh, if you want to know more about the OB100 I just uh, asked from the chat GPT it gave me a very good description about the OB100 you can see that OB100 is organization block known as a cold start block organization block OBs are the highest level block in this Siemens semantic automation system and control the execution of user program cold start in initialization OB100 is executed when the PLC undergoes a cold restart a cold restart happens when a PLC is turned on from a off state of our power failure means that this OB is actually executed whenever your PLC is restarted or you can say it is on from the off position or after the power restore <coughs> sorry so how can you initialize this and what is the advantage that um, uh, if you want that uh, your all the flags counter and timer value should be reinitialized before the control logic runs uh, so that you can first initialize all the things in the OB100 so that the programs your control logic starts in a sequence way after power restore okay so just click add new block from the organization block this is actually the OB100 startup and one more thing is that this organization block uh, OB100 only run once uh, not like the other cyclic interrupt that it keep running on the different cycle it only runs when the CPU start once okay once at the startup <coughs> so this language is a ladder number is a hundred OB hundred it will be either you can change it but a uh, little bit default otherwise you have to do some other changes and this is a brief description about the OB hundred the startup OB will execute one time when the operating mode of a PLC changes from the stop to run after completion the main program cycle OB will begin executing okay so this is the advantage and the main purpose of this OB100 just click OK now here uh, because I am, I am I will do just simulation so what I will do I will just in order to show you I will add the that how many times your PLC restarted from stop to run mode switched ok so for that I will just take one let's say I take one block here add I want to just add whenever the PLC switch from um, stop to uh, run position okay and now I want here some temps variables for this uh, let me take one uh, data block okay and give me data block let's say my data okay this is global DB just click OK and here I write let's say uh, PLC start count and the data type should be because it will count 1 2 3 4 5 that should be at least integer okay and I also want <coughs> to retain its value so what I will do I will use this PLC start here from the data and I want also to write at the output by adding just one okay by adding just one I will minimize it okay so this is my data block I have done this is startup OB organization block and 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 what start 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 my simulator at my simulator at my simulator at my simulator it takes some times 
not enough not enough not enough ram if you have a 30 <coughs> 32 gb ram then ti portal works very fine i have only gb of ram so this is my plc uh, simulator uh, ti portal version 18 i am using so it could be different environment of a simulator if you are using blow like a 17 or 16 version so you can see this is a some type different version okay i just will come here and will take one <coughs> plc s7 200 series switch to stand mode on the run it take times okay as I told it takes some times just bear with me so this is a uh, quite different environment of simulator just cancel it as compared to the previous version so this is version if you don't know how to use this simulator I have created one video I will put the link in the description so you can see how to use this simulator in TI portal version 18 okay it's, it's still working I think let me compile it PLC should be on the run state before I download the program it's showing an install stop mode let me show here what's the issue ok let me download ok now it will switch to the run mode it's again compiling checking for the errors password protection I have not set the part password protection okay just load it just restart the module and finish now the PLC in their run mode okay now just uh, let it be normalized I will go to online go to online okay now uh, this is the online PLC uh, is on the run mode you can see here the value is 0 initialized value uh, the P because the PLC have no starter from stop to run mode so first let me now I will just make it a stop and then again will switch to run mode okay I will stop asking me yeah stop it and then I will tell him to run okay run you see now the count value is 2 count value is 2 uh, before that you have observed that this block was the gray not the green because it has not run uh, because it has not been executed because the PLC uh, should have no, uh, PLC did not went to the stop mode and then run mode now it is 2 now if I do again I make it like a stop sorry yes stop and then run yes run now see the count value is 3 
you can also observe this value here if you put a block if you put a block if you make it online see monitor value is 3 the most important thing is that you have to must check this one retain otherwise you will always see 0 and 1 it will not keep increasing the values ok so I just make it offline and here now again I make it stop yes and then I make it run yes now this is the 4 so in this way you can um, uh, now you can what you can do you can also count the number of times your PLC started and on this event you can uh, do some initializing value your counter timer or encoder value you can initialize you can also create any alarms to uh, see on your front panel or HMI or SCADA system uh, by using this uh, bit or you can say do anything you want to configure you can do that okay on the value change of this um, addresses Hope you like the video. Till next video, I I am planning to create another video on some cyclic interrupts. So this was the OB hundred startup interrupt. Till next video, take care and laugh is.